hello friends welcome back to my channel so we are back with another tutorial on sonar cube so if you have seen my previous tutorial we have spoke about and we shown how to set up sonar cube on docker how to integrate with jenkins like a normal job right so in this tutorial what we are going to do we are going to write a jenkins pipeline script to integrate sonar cube uh, static code analysis in your uh, you know overall build process okay so by using this so you can have a pipeline script for detecting your vulnerability core quality etc using the sonar cube scan so give, uh, to give some uh, detail how this works is like you have a git or some other uh, source code or version control tool right where you will have your source code so uh, some users will do the checkout or the source code they will uh, keep it in git so what we will do is we will do a build from this kit so we'll pull the we are we are going to use a java project so we are going to uh, pull the code from the git and we are going to do the build in uh, jenkins right that's how we usually do uh, for uh, java or other continuous build process right so in our case our jenkins is running on docker okay and we will have a sonar queue which is also running in docker okay so what we will do is uh, once the code is pulled by jenkins uh, it will uh, you know do the scan through the sonar cube and it will give you the output in the sonar cube okay so we are going to write the whole pipeline script for uh, pulling the code from git and uh, doing the scan in sonar cube okay we seen how to do this manually uh, by writing like a normal build job right so but here we are going to do it like a pipeline script so it will be an interesting tutorial for you so if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel i would request you to subscribe like this video share and comment so that you know you can get the notifications uh, of my videos so i'll be putting a lot of new videos on uh, devops or splunk or other technologies like docker right and uh, kubernetes ansible so you will be interested to learn all those things so in order to start you know i have uh, you know, as i showed uh, in the picture diagram that you know uh, i have uh, you know, jenkins and sonar cube running as docker containers right so if you don't know how to set up uh, Jenkins and Sonar Cube as Docker containers, please check my previous tutorial. I have clearly explained how you can set up Jenkins and Sonar Cube even using Docker Compose files. Okay, so you can uh, see it there. So I'll be using uh, this Java project, which is a Game of Life uh, project, which is the Java project, okay, which I'll be using for this uh, uh, our tutorial. And I have my Jenkins running. Okay, and I also have the sonar cube running okay so first thing what i want to do is i'll just create a new sonar cube project okay i'm going to name this as uh, sonar cube test okay and uh, let me create that so once you click on uh, create a uh, no project so i'm giving the sonar cube test project okay it will ask you to uh, generate a token so if you want you can generate a token which we can use it for uh, integrating with the jenkins but i'm here in this case i'm not going to generate anything so if you see you know uh, i have a sonar cube test project here right and i don't have anything uh, content here like here if you see the sonar cube this one i showed in one of my previous tutorial like you know how to do the scan uh vulnerabilities and bugs and everything using sonar cube okay so we'll be getting similar kind of output when we do this build uh, you know using the jenkins pipeline so the next step is i will go to jenkins and let me create a new item okay and i'm going to call this one as uh, i'm going to call this a sonar cube pipeline project okay and i'm going to use pipeline uh, and uh, let me click on okay so now if you see i have the pipeline uh, tab here where we can write down the pipeline uh, script okay so before I get into that, let me save this. So I let me show you some of uh, configurations I have set it in uh, Jenkins. Uh, this was also done as part of my previous tutorial. So there are two things which you need to do. One is you need to install a Sonar Cube plugin. So if you go to uh, Manage Jenkins and uh, Plugin Manager, you should be having a install plugin listed here. So if I search for Sonar Cube Scanner, you can see it's already installed, right? So I have already installed this as part of my previous tutorial, okay. and also I have configured it. 
so if I go to configure system if you scroll down you can see there is a uh, configuration place for sonar cube servers right so I have already enabled this uh, you know, environmental variables because we need to use this in our pipeline script okay and I have given a name as sonar cube and this is my sonar cube uh, URL okay I'm not using any authentication here we can use the authentication as the token or another ways we can do but I'll be giving the uh, user ID password directly in the pipeline script itself okay so let me also show you if I go to global tools configurations I have also set uh, an sonar cube installation so you can see it's sonar cube and it's the installation install automatically okay so these are something you know which you need to set it before so if you have not uh, seen my previous tutorial I would request you to go and check that okay so now let me go to this uh, configuration of uh, pipeline so let me write down uh, the pipeline script so if you are not sure how to start you can go to this pipeline syntax you can select like git right and I uh, know uh, how to get this URL so I'll go to my github location okay let me put the URL here okay and generate pipeline script so you can see it give you a sam uh, the script what you need to use okay so let me start the pipeline uh, job so I'll start with node okay you can also start like a pipeline okay and I'm going to call the stage Okay, so I'm going to call this as uh, cloning git. Okay, cloning the project from git. And underneath this, need to have our, our code. So this code should come uh, like this because this is the script which. Uh, the syntax is given for cloning so if you call git and this one it will clone the project okay so that's the first stage simple command okay let me go to the second stage and i'm going to call this as uh, sonar cube analysis okay okay here we need to set few things okay so first thing is we have to define uh, the sonar cube tool okay so i'm going to define a sonar cube uh, home and the tool is sonar cube so these names come from my and you know the configuration which i did in the manage engine so if you have given a different name you need to give the name according to your sonar cube server okay and the next stage is like we need to use the environmental variable for sonar cube okay so it should be like uh, this is the command we use with and sonar cube environmental variable okay and inside this we need to use uh, sonar cube it's again the same name which we have given uh, you know for uh, a configuration in the Jenkins. Uh, Jenkins okay then if you have multiple tools uh, we, you have set you can uh, use multiple sonar cube versions okay and the next commands are going to be almost similar to what we have used uh, you know uh, for uh, our uh, normal uh, scan with the build process but only the difference is you know uh, we are using inside the pipeline okay so if you see what I'm using is I'm using a shell command first okay to go to this uh, sonar cube uh, home right in the sonar scanner location then I'm going to run uh, this uh, parameters for sonar cube so it's giving sonar dot login and the password so I'm using the ID and password here so it's a hard coded uh, user ID password so we can also use the you know the key which we can create from sonar cube and we can use that okay so that's a better option but this i just want to show it here in this way so maybe next tutorial i will show it in a different way okay and i'm going to tell uh, jenkins that you know the project should be sonar cube uh, i think it should be sonar cube uh, test project okay it should be sonar cube test project 
and that should be you know the what files which I need to exclude and what is the URL post on our queue okay so that is all for this uh, you know pipeline script so let me save this and let me try to run a build okay so let's see what the output we get you can see you know it started the build job right the first stage is cloning the project so if I open this in a new tab you can see the console output right so it's uh, trying to download the project from git okay so it's checking out right so it's checking out the master branch and now it's uh, trying to start the sonar cube scan right it's uh, putting all this information okay so let's wait okay let's wait for uh, to get our output if you see this pipeline the first part is completed and it's running in the sonar cube analysis part right so that's what it's happening now So this may take or some time okay depending upon the size of the project so uh, my project you know the game of life is a little bit a bigger project so it may it have a lot of files to be analyzed and a lot of data to be you know uh, updated to the database of sonar cube so it may take some time So it's almost done so if you see like it's creating the report right so it's almost like 123 mp of uh, data for report so that's why you know depending upon your project it may take uh, more time to complete okay there is some error message we got so let me just check that okay Okay, so I think there was some thing happened to connect to this sonar cube so let me check that okay as you can see now it's completed so I was just analyzing why last time it failed because I found uh, uh, my docker container was crashed so I had to reboot uh, my sonar cube uh, container so now it's uh, connected okay let me go to the sonar cube instance so now we can see it's completed we should be able to see the output on the sonar cube so if you see the sonar cube test project we still don't see anything right so that is because if you go to uh, let me see where it is yep if you go to administration and the project background task if you see the sonar cube uh, test the status is still running because you know the output we got from Jenkins is yet to be synced with the sonar cube so it may take some time to get updated in the you know the database okay, depending upon the performance you can see now both uh, is completed right so you can see now it uh, came to green okay, so we should wait for some free okay now if you see like you know the sonar cube test also we got the bugs right vulnerabilities uh, code smells and all those things we are able to see okay. so you can go inside that uh, project and we should be able to get the more information on that right so if you go to 120k bugs which will start listing on that i think it's still not completed you can see some background processes still running so we may need to wait for the whole result to be updated so the background task is completed so if you go back to your project and if you see the bugs you should be able to see the complete detail like what kind of bugs is there right so that's how you know if you see here the code smells you can see what uh, it gives so if you see this is the benefit of sonar cube right once you do your uh, analysis you will be getting the complete details from it okay so that is all uh, I wanted to show in this tutorial so as you see like what we did is we completely uh, did the you know the pipeline job so now 
if you want to integrate with any project you don't need to manually run the sonar cube scan you can just make use of this code uh, you know in your uh, pipeline job so it will automatically scan your project sonar cube and it give the output now what i want to do in the next tutorial is like here we just did the scan right so in whichever cases your sonar cube uh, will complete the scan uh, and your jenkins job will pass but i want to uh, define some quality gate so that you know when the job uh, does not uh, pass the quality gate the job in jenkins should fail so that will be my next part of tutorial okay so uh, please uh, watch my channel so you'll be able to see that so i hope you'll be you know subscribing to my channel so you can watch out for a more tutorial okay so i'm sure this tutorial will be informative for you and thank you for watching so kindly subscribe to my channel again like the video share and comment